Hello, as many of you know, I live in Florida and a few months ago we were hit by Hurricane Irma. And during that time, our regular means of communication went down, internet, cell phones, and the such. And even at the fire department, which I am a firefighter, the towers that we normally use for our radio communications went down. So we were unable to use our standard radios. We did have a few shortwave radios, so we were still able to stay in touch by someone talking to somebody and then relaying it down and relaying it down. The thing is, this talks, takes communication and people writing stuff down, which is fine, but normally when we get dispatched to a call under normal, normal circumstances, we have computers in our truck which receive information of what address we're going to and why we're going there and just details like that. And I wondered, uh, could I come up with something that did that through these shortwave radios? Uh, it's called CAD, uh, Computer Aided Dispatch. And so can we come up with a cheap form of CAD in these emergency situations? And I've played around with different things in the past, and this is what I've come up with. Here I have a short two-way radio. Uh, this is my personal, this is not what we use at work, but really I just need anything that could send out and something to receive a signal. And so this, uh, through the uh, normal headphone jack here, is hooked to my computer here, uh, and it's going to the audio in on my computer. And on the other end, I have a, another one of those radios hooked to an MP3 player. Now in this scenario, I'm using my desktop and an MP3 player, but this could be any two devices that have audio outputs. On the MP3, I'm just doing this for portability. Uh, it has a pre-recorded digital tone message on it, um, but it could be something like an Arduino or an Onion computer, uh, you know, cheap computers that are are under $30 uh, or it could be a desktop and this is going to be my transmitter I am going to drive down the street and send a signal that I pre-recorded on this that we could also generate on the fly with a computer and the other radio at the other end here is going to capture that and convert it to text and not only that but I'm going to have it that text be displayed in an HTML output so it looks nice and this could be viewed on phones, tablets, computers. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Let's give it a try. I'm going to drive down the street now. Now currently the information I have saved on this mp3 player is a list of addresses. I just googled list of addresses but it could be any information you want to send. What trucks are supposed to be going, why they're going, the address they're going to obviously. So. There's a lot of information you can send. Obviously, the transfer rate is going to be rather low, so you don't want to send too much information, but you should be able to send the necessary information. And now, instead of having someone write it down, and maybe the address got wrong, you can still transmit it uh, audibly speaking to somebody, but we can also send this data, which is stored and displayed, and can be referenced later on the systems that they're getting it from. I just need to get this baby up to 88 miles per hour. Oh wait, no, that, that's next week's project. That was a bad joke. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so now all I have to do is uh, start transmitting. We'll turn on the MP3 player because it's timed out. Uh, so I'm gonna click to key up the radio and then press play on this. But again, this is just an MP3 player, but it could be a computer as well. So keying up pressing play, and it's letting the audio play for a while. Uh, there's a long list of addresses on there. At the current rate that I'm transmitting at, it's going to transmit, it's going to be about two and a half to three minutes to transmit the uh, entire list that I have. Uh, but you can up the speed, but you also uh, take a chance of losing some data if you up it too much. All depends on how clear your signal is. Uh, so we're transmitting this. The hardest part is holding down this button the entire time I'm transmitting. My thumb gets kind of tired. Uh, but why don't we go while I'm transmitting this and switch to the other camera and see what is being transmitted and coming across the screen of the computer. So 
So as you can see, the addresses are coming across in a list format, easy to read, and of course you can change the output of that because it's just plain text that's being transmitted, uh, each new inf piece of information on a new line in this case, and then I'm taking each line and putting it into a new item in the list, and it's regularly updating every three seconds on that computer. Of course you can increase that time if you need. Uh, so that's just a quick display of what we're working on. So in the next couple of videos, I'm going to go over the details on how this works. I'm going to show you the code. I'm going to show you different options and why I chose the option that I chose and how simple it is to transmit information. All you need is a nice clear signal. If there's a lot of interference, you're going to start missing some characters. So in this particular case, I'm sending plain text. Uh, and in some cases, you know, at parts, if you miss a character or two, it's not a big deal. We're not transmitting anything binary images or programs themselves so it's not going to uh, completely screw up the entire project if a character is lost it might be a little important if it's an address and you're missing a numeric in there um, but the uh, system isn't going to crash if a character if there's some loss in transmission so you might miss get some gargled messages but the information will get through and the process is going to completely die if it doesn't so I thank you for watching please check out uh, the follow-up videos on this that I'll be releasing over the next couple of days. Uh, there should be a link to a playlist in the description of this video. Uh, and I do hope you enjoy them, hope you learn a lot, and hope this is useful to you. Thank you for watching, and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description, as always. I hope that you have a great day.